Good day everyone! I'm Angelica Salazar and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, today guys, I'm really blessed kasi nga, finally, hired na ako sa Akad Soft. Yay! I am already an ESL tutor in Akad Soft. So, I am Angelica Salazar. I am Teacher Angel of Akad Sok, and I am only 18 years old. So, for today's video, guys, I am going to share to you the first part of my journey sa Akad Sok. Keep watching! share to you the first part of my experience in Akad Sok and yung mga requirements na kailangan in order to be an ESL teacher in Akad Sok. So, Akad Sok is an ESL company, of course. And then, noong last December 2019, naghahanap ako ng mga online jobs. So, one of my classmates prefer the Akad Sok nga. Sabi niya, Ange, why don't you try to be a tutor in Akad Sok? Kasi, learn naman daw ako sa English, ganun. So, I tried to pass an application sa Akad Sok and online lang siya, online lang. So, noong January 2020, uh, tumawag sa akin yung Akad Sok. Nag-email din sa akin yung Akad Sok. And they said kung gusto ko ba daw mag-proceed sa interview. So, of course, gusto ko mag-proceed sa interview. But that time, I am only 17 years old. Kasi, uh, my birthday is on February, last February 4, kaya hindi pa pasok yung age ko. So, sabi nila, tawagan ko na lang daw sila or email ko sila after ng birthday ko. So, no, after ng birthday ko, nag-email ako sa Akad Sok that I am ready for the interview. So, doon na nagsimula ang lahat. Ayun. So, in order to be an ESL tutor, you need to be at least 18 years old. So, number one na requirements is you need to be 18 years old. Second one, you need to have a laptop or personal computer. Third one is you need to have a Wi-Fi connection and it should be two, uh, at least 2 Mbps uh, for download speed and 2 Mbps for upload speed. So, sa laptop, meron, sila, meron din silang required na specification for the laptop. So, yung CPU niya needs to be I don't know kung anong tawag doon. Basta, nasa tapat siya ng specs na uh, laptop. Makikita yung CPU. And then, sa tapat noon, merong number. So, it should be at least 1,500. Doon ako nagka-problema. Kasi yung gamit kong laptop that time is only 614 nakalagay. And, buti na lang, I have two laptops. And yung isang laptop ko, yun yung pasok sa, sa required specification ng Akad Sok. So, ayun yung ginamit ko na laptop. So, that is 8,500 something. Hindi ko kasi alam po anong tawag dun sa number na yun. Basta, makikita nyo siya sa control panel. Punta kayo sa control panel and then sa security and system and then system. So, yun, lalabas na yung specification ng laptop. You need to have a headset. Ito. Like what I'm using. Like what I'm using right now. A headset na may noise cancelling. So, uh, most 
teachers, ganito talaga yung ginagamit nila. So, eto, mura lang naman to. Nabili ko yata to ng 180 pesos lang. Mm, mura lang siya. Carry, carry. So, fourth one is you need to have two valid IDs. Yun lang. Two valid IDs. It's either student ID, uh, SSS, passport, team, driver license, or any other government-issued ID. So, ayun lang. So, the last requirements that you need in order to be an ESL tutor in Akadso is syempre dapat marunong ka sa English. You should know how to speak in English fluently. Pero hindi mo naman kasi kailangan na sobrang galing mo sa English. Kasi ako, I don't know. Pero hindi naman ako ganun kagaling sa English. My vocabulary isn't that wide. Pero I was hired. <laughs> Diba? Uh, sa akad so, pag magtuturo ka, galing naman sa kanila yung module eh. Nandun na din yung mga sasabihin mo. So, hindi mo naman kailangan na sobrang galing mo sa English. Average lang. So, okay na yun. Back to my application process. One week lang. For one week, na-hire na agad ako sa akad so. Actually, medyo na-late pa nga kasi yung supervisor ko is naka-leave pa. So, hindi ako, hindi agad ako nakapag-training. Kaya, medyo na-late ako. Mm. Pero, within one week, I was hired in akad so. Siyempre, as an ESL tutor, mga bata yung tuturuan mo, kailangan mo din lagi na hangite. So, smile is very important. You need to be jolly as always. You need to be patient. Yan, ganyan yung mga characteristics na dapat tinataglay ng isang ESL tutor. So, kapag nakapag-interview ka na sa akad, so, kapag nakapasa ka sa initial interview, mag-undergo ka ng training, ang training nila is only 2 hours and 30 minutes. Actually, na nag-training ako, wala pa nga siyang Siguro mga 2 hours lang siya. Hindi siya umabot ng 2 hours and 30 minutes. Then, after ng training, mag-undergo mag ka ng initial demo, which is just 15 minutes, and the final demo for 25 minutes. So, kada class kasi sa Akadzok is only 25 minutes. Diba? So, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ano ba yung mga benefits sa Akadsok. Bakit among all the ESL company, Akadsok yung pinipiko. Why? Because Akadsok offers a home-based job. Of course, hindi ka na hindi mo na kailangan bumiyahi pa. Hindi, hindi mo kailangan mag-undergo sa hassle commute. Diba? Kasi dito ka lang, sa bahay ka lang, chillax ka lang. You can choose whatever environment you want kapag nagtatrabaho ka. And second one is super flexible ng time. Yung working hours mo sa akad so is nakabase kung anong oras ka available. Diba? Sa kinakita ng ganong trabaho. So, ayun, kapag of course, pag full time, you need to have 8 hours per day. And kapag part time, 4 hours only. So ako, syempre, I'm a student. So part time lang ako, 4 hours per day. So, Monday to Friday lang ako. And pahinga ko na yung Saturday and Sunday. Pero pag may time naman ako, I can do classes on weekends. And magsasabi lang, akin, magsasabi lang ako sa aking supervisor. Ayan lang naman, guys. So, yung sa salary, pwede siyang umabot up to 60,000 pesos per month. Oh my gosh! 60,000 pesos per month. <laughs> so, wala pa naman akong isang buwan, guys. Kasi kaka-hired ko lang last Saturday. And I'm very happy. Thank you so much, Lord. I'm, I'm also encouraging other people to send an application sa Akadso kasi right now, naghahanap ng maraming teacher yung Akadso kasi 
uh, mas dumami yung students kasi nga dahil sa and coronavirus, mga affected na and coronavirus. Chinese kids need to stay at home, kaya ayun, mas uh, lumaki yung demand. And nangangailangan sila na mas marami pang teacher. So, if you think that you are qualified to be an ESL teacher, don't hesitate to pass an application. Hindi ka lang naman nagkatrabaho, kundi natulungan mo din yung mga Chinese students doon, especially yung mga uh, Chinese kids na affected ng end coronavirus. So, if you think you are qualified, you can message me. Uh, message me to my Facebook account, Angelica M. Salazar, so that I can refer you to my supervisor and matutulungan kita pa para din mas papadali yung application mo sa akin. So, so, ayun lang guys. Thank you for watching everyone. Sana nakatulong itong video na to sa inyo. And of course, if this video helps you, don't forget to uh, give this a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you would be notified if nag upload ulit ako ng panibagong video. Well, I guess, part 2 ng aking Akansok journey. So, ayun lang, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. I am Angelica Salazar, Teacher Angel of Akansok. God bless you all. I love you. Bye!